Hey guys, welcome into Lemons to Lemonade Furniture. Today's flip is way out of my comfort zone and I'm so excited to show you what I turned this piece into. Come join me out in the garage. Today's project piece I know nothing about. My client found this at a Goodwill and she has a really unique design idea for it. This piece is going to reveal some of its history to us as we go, so stay tuned. If you're new here, this channel is all about how we found financial freedom through flipping furniture. I tackle a project every few weeks and share my secrets on how our family has paid off over $60,000 in debt just from flipping furniture. If you like that type of content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Normally I'd take the handles off first before I clean, but these drawers were pretty sticky and warped so I decided to leave them on and so I could just move around these drawers a little easier and we'll remove the handles later. I removed the back to get into the wooden tambour slides in the front as I will need to remove those to get everything painted. Do you see what I found in here? It turns out that this is a mid-century Paydar optician's cabinet, most likely dating back to the 1940s. In the back of this cabinet were a handful of different strengths of glass to determine one's vision needs. Here's a picture of how those little glass slivers would have looked set up in this cabinet. The design we're going for today will totally transform this cabinet into something a little more trendy. Just wait and see, but wow, what a really cool find. I'm going to bag these up and save them. I know my friend will find something really fun and creative to do with them. I'm going for a bit of a vintage 1970s look on this guy, so we'll require all new hardware. I've got to patch all of the old hardware holes in preparation for this. This guy is getting some fancy new legs, so it's time to flip him over so I can get the base off. There was a large chunk missing towards the bottom of this cabinet, so I used a two-part epoxy putty called Quick Wood. You mix it up until it's a uniform color, and then just apply it where you need it for the fix. This is a really big project for me. I normally don't take on projects that require this many steps or are gonna take this much time. Um, I'm assuming by the time I'm done with this, I'll have over a week or around eight days put into this project just because of how many steps that it takes. But it's a custom order. It's for a really good friend of mine and she loves it and she has a really cool vision for this. So I took on the project. But if you have something like this that you're working on that seems like it's really overwhelming, what I've done is made a punch list for each day and I get out into the garage and I get three of those items done every day on the punch list and that will keep me on track to get this thing finished. 
My client has chosen the color Cerise by Sherwin-Williams. I'm using their chalk paint line and the idea is to have these hidden vibrant pops of color when you go to open the drawers and the cabinets. I'll load this into my gravity fed HVLP spray gun and get to work. Flip tip, I am sure to save all of my Costco boxes. They are the perfect things to turn upside down and put my drawers or shelves on so that I can easily paint them. My son's skateboard totally saves my knees when I have to work on the floor for so long in the garage. I am back at it again this morning. I am getting ready to do a part that I hate the most out of refinishing furniture. And that is when you have to tape everything up. Uh, you have to do this a lot if you're gonna do mixed mediums, like two different colors, or you're gonna do a stain and a paint color. So I've got to tape up these drawers and these cabinet spaces today. I'm not looking forward to it, but it's just another little tedious thing that has to be done sometimes when you refinish furniture. Even after a light scuff sand, this factory finish was still slick to the touch. So I primed it with Rust-Oleum two-time white bonding primer. One coat will do the job. I just need the paint to stick. I'm not worried about any bleed through with this project. Now on to the fun parts. For the body of the cabinet, my friend has chosen Loyal Blue by Sherwin-Williams. I'm using their chalk paint finish again, and this time, well, I had a bit of trouble getting it to go through the paint strainer. So I mixed it up separately in a container with about 25% water, and voila, it was perfect and ready to spray. I get tons of questions about our sprayer setup, so here is the tank that it is attached to. I got this from Arbor Freight, and I will zoom in a bit on the settings so you can see what it's set to. It lives in its own little soundproof box, so we don't bother our neighbors. This week's flip is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an optimal learning platform to help grow your creativity. From marketing and video editing to interior design, crafting, and so much more, you can find a class that will match your goals and interests. As a homeschool mom, I love it when my kids can find ways to exercise their creativity and take hands-on creative courses to help them grow. We're currently exploring narrative art, drawing imaginary characters by Ira Marks. It's exciting to watch their creativity being sparked by classes that are on their skill level. Skillshare is always ad-free and premium classes are launched every single week, so there's always something new to discover. Skillshare offers classes for lifelong learners, beginners, pros, and dabblers. No matter what level you're on, there is a class for you. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click on the link in the description box below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so that you can start exploring your creativity today. Where will your Skillshare journey take you? That paint has finally made its way through my strainer and it is time to go. I find with these darker shades that it normally takes me about three full coats for full coverage.
It's time to pull back this tape and work on the last few finishing touches. Do you have any ideas yet what I'm turning this into? Be sure to leave me a comment below and let me know what you think this is going to be. Flip tip. We're going to be using Helmsman's water-based spar urethane in a high gloss finish for this cabinet. You cannot shake a can of poly as it will create bubbles and put bubbles on your finished product. The best way to get your poly mixed is to turn the can upside down for a few minutes so that all the ingredients on the bottom will mix with the top. And once you've had it upside down for a little bit, I like to roll it on its side back and forth so everything gets incorporated before I run it through my gravity fed HVLP sprayer. The finishing touches are starting to go on. My client has chosen this peel and stick wallpaper by Spoonflower. You can order this on Amazon and I'll be sure to link it in the comment section down below. This wallpaper is the perfect touch to tie in the bright colors that she chose for this project. This cabinet needs a little height to help get it off of the ground. We've decided to go with these gold hairpin legs to give it just the right amount of height. Last and final step is to attach the hardware. We decided to go with some fancy gold poles to help match those hairpin legs. And finally for the big reveal. This mysterious little cabinet turned into quite the beautiful bar cart. Did you guess bar cart? Let me know if you had other thoughts as to what this could have been. This bar cart was designed for my hairstylist new salon, so this flip will be for bartering. Bartering services is a great way to save your family some money. Some things I've bartered for in the past are family pictures, professional headshots, marketing work, resume help, even IT services. Putting your talents to work for a trade is a great way to save some cash. Be sure to tune in next time where I'll be flipping a custom buffet and answering all your questions you have about how I flip custom work. I posted a poll not too long ago and 90% of you said you are interested in how I work these items. So I'm going to bring it to you. If you have a question you want me to answer on there, be sure to include it and leave it in the comment section down below in this video. You don't want to miss it. I'll see you next time on Lemons to Lemonade Furniture. Oh, 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 oh,